How's it going everybody? Rybrad here today and we are back with our Manchester City manager mode. So, sorry for the little bit of a delay here. It's hard to fly from uh, Nashville to Manchester and do two jobs at once, manage two teams. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit in between them. So, no, I'm just kidding guys. It's going to take a day. I uh, just had a little bit of a uh, long day yesterday so I wasn't able to upload. But here we go. We're going to upload our second video of the day with our Manchester City career mode. I hope you guys are as excited as I am uh, because we're into the thick of it here in the middle of the season. Um, we are, uh, coming up again on the, uh, West, uh, Brom, which, uh, actually we just played West Brom. So now we're into November and to December and pretty darn soon, guys, it'll be January and that transfer window will open back up and we got a lot of decisions to make. Oh crap. I just noticed that here in December we played Chelsea and Real Madrid back to back. Those are two of, uh, Europe's best. So we got a pretty, uh, relaxing, uh, November, it seems like. So what you guys said is that uh, I should choose Italy unless a bigger club comes along. So I was thinking uh, simulate the most of November because it doesn't expire until, uh, let's see, national team offers. It doesn't expire until, uh, I believe it is the 23rd of December. So that's perfect. So if by the start of December I don't get a better offer, I'm going to go ahead and accept the Italy offer. Sorry, Chile. I apologize, but... Italy, I, I, I mean, I, I love Buffon. He's, he's probably he, he's somebody I tried to model myself after. I was a goalie um, back in my youth. I don't play much uh, soccer anymore, but <clears throat> I was a goalie, and I loved Buffon. And goalies were all, always stole the show for me because they could just change the game single-handedly. Ah, uh, yes, and we have to um, go ahead here and do a press conference. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's yeah you know what let's go ahead and uh, I'm I'm thinking I want to praise the young boys just a little bit. Uh, they're a good young squad. I mean Toure picked them apart, but that's just because he's an old old veteran. Uh, you know he's no wiry, wiry uh, rookie. He's no amateur, and the youth academy awesome. So Elliot Hill here seems to have really good potential. Same thing with Connor Harrison, and yeah so. A guy like Archie Harris, I'm going to have to wait and see what he's going to be. Billy Martin, Archie Moore, another, uh, you know, these guys. These central midfielder prospects and central forward and a winger actually up top. So, interesting. You guys let me know. I have a question for you guys that are watching the video. Do I train these players in the youth squad or does that mess up their growth and whatnot? Do I not want to uh, do that? Do I want to just let them grow as is and then they want when they want an offer, go ahead and give them an offer? Okay, so he's still, he's, I think he's still in uh, England. Yep, he's in England until the 29th of February. <clears throat> and now we're playing the young boys. So let's go ahead and throw out a different squad. Nolito, I'll go ahead and put him in there. We'll give uh, Ian Nacho a little bit of time. Uh, and we'll give Sterling some time there. Gundogan, I'll leave. Uh, Gundogan's actually kind of tired. So I'll throw Toure in there, and then actually, you know what? We'll throw Fernandinho in there, switch him and Toure. Instead of company, we'll throw in Stones. Grimaldo Walker's a tiny bit tired, so we'll throw in Zabaleta. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. We will play. We can play Otamendi in the next uh, Premier League match. So I like to actually having a deep squad where any squad I roll out is going to be a good one. But our first team squad, I want to get it great. It's not quite amazing yet. It's not, you know, everyone is fantastic, but... um. Uh, we Oh, come on. There we go. Sim match. But I definitely think our first team squad should contend for the league title. Uh, as you saw, my manager rating is a 69 just because I'm below my target <clears throat> right now because I'm in fourth place. I'd really like to get into that top three and solidify myself a top uh, three spot here in these next two months. As we start the game against the young boys, it is kicked off. So And, oh, wow, they take the early lead, Gernt. Uh, scores in the 70th or the 17th minute as we're approaching halftime, and but Toure again picking these young boys apart with his with his veteran knowledge. Oh my God, Toure just kills these guys. And Sterling scores. It looks like a good idea to play him. And Benito get gets injured. Oh, but they tie the game up two to two. Are we going to be able to snatch up all three points? But we aren't. That's okay. I'll take it. Um, we did, uh, I believe, draw against Real Madrid as well. Champions Cup. Oh. I gotta shut him up. Oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up. Settings, there we go. <clears throat> oh my god, shut up! He's, um... Yeah, no, we're we're done, yeah. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> as much as I like him announcing all of the scores for me to let me know what the heck is going on around the world here, uh, Nolito uh, is apparently driving shirt sales? What? 
That's okay. Interesting. I always love the news over there. It's always kind of weird and funny sometimes. Uh, Ecuador? Mm, no, I'd rather uh, Paulo Fernandez. Uh, I don't know if I want to play him against... I know it's only Middlesbrough, but still, I don't know if I want to play him against Middlesbrough just because, you know... These are points we should have, and these are points I want to keep. Uh, let's go ahead and throw... Actually, you know what? If, can Zabaleta play the left back? Oh, no, he can't, unfortunately. Uh, I could just see if he... he you know what? We're, he's going to play there. Stones, Van Dyke, get your uh, butt on the bench. Company is still tired, so interesting. Toure for Silva, and then Gundogan we can throw there. De Bruyne is still ready. We'll throw Aguero in there instead of Nolito. We want Sané because he's been ridiculous. Uh, we'll leave Sterling in there just because he had a really good... Uh, he, he scored a goal for us last match, so we'll go ahead and keep him in the squad. But other than that, nobody else seems to be somebody I want to keep. Uh, there we go. Ederson uh, is actually having a very, very good season for us. I'd love to check out the stats probably at the end of the video, uh, at, the, uh, at the end of December here. Just to see who's doing what, who's been performing for us. And yeah, look at that, guys. We are in fifth because we didn't play a couple matches. Uh, and and United has a game in hand on us. But Chelsea, look at that, guys. Chelsea is in sixth place. Arsenal's in third. So, interesting. Liverpool is leading the table. As far as teams that will be relegated, that's uh, pretty much to be expected. They have two points. Oh, my God. I'd, feel, I'd be so upset if I only had two points in a manager mode. <clears throat> so, Middlesbrough actually just, okay, they tied Arsenal, but they were able to beat Barnmouth, and they probably they lost to Chelsea, which is to be expected. But we've got our number one top three out there. Sterling and Sané on the wings with Aguero in the middle uh, with that primary striker role. Uh, so I definitely think we should be able to put some goals in against a Middlesbrough squad that is not the greatest. They're about middle of the table. I would say they'd be bottom third. And Sané scores on the penalty, keeps his amazing hot streak up. He's going to just destroy the Premier League, guys. It is fantastic to watch him be this hot. Lots of stuff happening. It's still 1-0 for City. And Zabaleta at that left-back position scores in the 80th minute. And City gets out of here with a 2-0 two, uh, two win over Middlesbrough. I was surprised to see Zabaleta score. But, hey, I'll take it. If I'm going to give him the playing time and he's going to make the most of it, I will, I will certainly... Uh, be happy about it every time. Nine, uh, ten times out of ten, I'll be happy when he uh, gives us a goal. Ahia Nacho has grown to a 79. I'm sorry, Fernandez, that you didn't get to uh, play, but uh, definitely not a game that I want to mess around with. I'm not messing around with any of these games anymore. Uh, I want to get these points. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, suspension over, so Grimaldo is back from his suspension. There we go. We still have the Italy. Um, wow, I can't believe we have an Italian... Uh, management offer. That's absolutely fantastic. But we'll have to keep going here. We're into November now, uh, where we only have a few games, so lots of rest for our players. Somebody got injured during training. Oh, stop the simulation. Stop the sim. I want to see who got injured. Uh, but first of all, let's train our players. Uh, load previous session. There we go. I'm <laughs> forgetting everything, guys. Alright, so 3, 2, 1. Awesome. See this training go on, and... Uh, Adara, ba Adara Bio? Bio? Oh, ah, that's the center back over there, but had a nice day for himself. I don't, I'm not going to try and pronounce and butcher names that are just, that I just can't do. Great work. Uh, oh, yeah, we achieved. Um, okay, cool. So, awesome. So, we did achieve the shirt sales, which is what we were target set out to do. Otamendi is out nine days with a sprained ankle, but I'm not too upset. Oh, you know what I am upset about Otamendi? It's how he elbowed Gabriel Jesus in the face uh, in the last Argentina-Brazilian friendly. Uh, and now he broke like an, uh, he broke a bone in his eye socket. That's absolutely crazy, especially since they are uh, teammates in Northern Ireland. No offense, but Toure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think I might want to play Toure against Crystal Palace, help us secure this win. Um... De Bruyne has been playing well, but you know what? Let's go ahead and sit him. Uh, Sterling for Jesus. That's fine. And then instead of Zabaleta, we want Grimaldo. Otamendi is injured, so we'll go ahead and throw company. And then instead of Stones, we want Van Dyke. And then we have Walker out there. I'm really happy with this squad. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of great players out here. Uh, but it's not that true, like, number one European squad. Teams like Bayern... Uh, and Real Madrid and Barcelona all have better squads than this. And those that's what I'm really trying to set out to accomplish here. Uh, very important match here. Let's see if we can climb up into the top four. Uh, we would actually climb... Uh, what would that be? If Liverpool doesn't... If Liverpool loses, or Man United loses, we climb into one of those top two spots. So we are hanging around... We are real close to that top spot in the Premier League, which is really, really exciting. And Crystal Palace has been in pretty poor form. 
So let's see if Jesus Aguero and Sané can go ahead and snatch this win for us because I don't really rely too much on my back line just because they're not the greatest back line in the world. But all right, so MacArthur gets a yellow card 22 sec uh, 22 seconds tw in the 22nd minute of the match as we approach halftime here. Sané scores just before halftime to give City a 1-0 lead. All right, half an hour to go in the match. Are we going to be able to pull this one out? Is our back line actually going to be able to step it up and secure us this win? Is Ederson going to do great for us? And they are. Man City gets out of this match with a 1-0 win over Crystal Palace. It's a very tight win. And Fabian Delph was on the bench. No subs that entire match. Pretty interesting uh, to see that. Very little happened that match. So... Uh, let's do the training here. Again, uh, you know, I want that top spot in the Premier League. I want it. I want, I'd want no worse than third. I will settle for third. I will definitely take second. I would be really ecstatic with first. Press conference. Yeah, yeah, Toure. Yeah, I'm glad you played too, but now we can play, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, 10 press conference. Who are we playing? Uh, you know what? Let's praise, I'm going to praise City because we've been in very, very good form lately. After the last video where we were in very, very... Uh, bat poor form. It was just we weren't playing well. We were dropping points against teams we shouldn't have dropped points against. Putting ourselves a little bit behind the eight ball when it came to uh, we'll play Mbappe and Nolito uh, instead of Toure. We'll actually, you know, instead of Gundogan, we'll play Fernandinho. Uh, and instead of Toure, we'll go ahead and play De Bruyne and Silva can go ahead and stay there. I'm okay with that. Our back line, instead of company, we'll play Stones, just because I want Stones over company. Or Stones over Otamendi, just because I don't I don't have any plans for Otamendi in the future. So he's pretty much uh, done. If I can sell him at the next transfer window, I would. Just because our guys seem to be pretty healthy uh, and pretty uh, fit. They're, they don't get tired too quickly. So let's go ahead and start this match against Copenhagen. And let's see if we can go ahead and take all three points here and secure ourselves. Because if, if we win this match, uh, we would definitely be we would be moving on to the next round. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, because we would only have that match against Real Madrid left. And Silva scores for us early on in the 17th minute, giving City an early 1-0 lead. And Cornelius gets a yellow card in the 31st minute as we get on into the second half here. Not too bad. Sterling comes on for Jesus. And then Sterling scores off the bench. Uh, we got about 20 minutes left in the match. Come on, guys. And Aguero scores, and that's it, guys. That should be the end of the match. A 3-0 victory for your Manchester City, boys. Hell yeah. Very, very happy to see that. Uh, very good performance against a team that we should have beaten. And there it is, guys. Uh, the Spurs and Arsenal did not... I don't think... Or the Spurs didn't play. Uh, Arsenal didn't pick up a point in their last match. So we have climbed into the third place. Uh, two points behind Liverpool uh, and Manchester United for that top spot. So interesting, very, very interesting to see what's going to happen here. We're about, eh, I wouldn't say we're quite midway through the season because we've only played, what, is that 12 games? So we're about a quarter of the way through the season, I would say. It's not a quarter either. I don't know, it's a third? Yeah, it's, well, okay, we're a third of the way through the season. That's what it is. All right, now let's go ahead and, and send out, uh, who we, who do we want to get out there? You know what, I hear Nacho. Uh, and Sané will send out their Silva for Gundogan and Fernandinho for Toure. I like Toure in that holding role. I really do. Instead of Van Dijk, we'll play Otamendi. And that's it, guys. That's who we're playing. Toure has been in phenomenal form. I'm really happy to see that. Um, you know, in his final season, probably at the club. Although he hasn't approached me about retirement, which is pretty interesting. <clears throat> you know, I, I would have expected him to say something. So, uh, I, you know, I was going to check out the contracts, but we can go ahead and do that later when that becomes more of an issue. I'll probably get an email about it. Let's go ahead and start the match against Burnley, who's been in very good form, losing to United, but beating Crystal Palace and beating West Brom, getting six points in their last two matches. Let's see if we're going to be able to stop their point streak here. Uh, at, at those two wins. Ward gets an early yellow card in the 25th minute. We got about ten, uh, five minutes left in the half here. Nothing's really happening, and we are now into the second half, nil to nil. Aguero comes on for Ayanacho. Vokes gets injured slightly after he comes on in, in relief for uh, uh, Barnes. Nothing's happening so far with 10 minutes left in the match. Walker gets a yellow, and that's it, guys. We're going to end this match against Burnley nil nil. Not really how I wanted this match to go. I was hoping to get all three points, uh, but we still are in third place, one point behind Manchester United. Oh, man, if we would have gotten those two points, we would have been in second place uh, and two points behind Liverpool. We are still only one point ahead of Arsenal and three points ahead of the Spurs. Okay. Very, very Nick and Tuck race up here at the top of the Premier League table. Grimaldo's now grown to an 80, which is awesome to see. 
Uh, so, Adaraba Adarabia, uh, screw that, I'm not going to say his name. The center back over there seems to be close to growing yet again. Our, I don't know why our, man our manager rating went down, but oh, we got a tough matchup against Chelsea coming up, guys. Monthly scouting update, and there we go. We'll attend the press conference. Let's motivate City because I, I want to beat Chelsea. I want to get... Ugh, they, they just make me angry. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Who is worthy of signing to our youth squad? Um, y Ewan Lewis, who's 5'8", seems to be more of a midfielder. Wow. Okay, so we got this winger here. I definitely want to sign Cameron Cook. Uh, and then probably Ewan Lewis. Uh, and then that's probably all the guys I'm looking at right there. I don't necessarily want that goalie. And there we go, guys. I, I, you know what? One of my favorite parts of this game is the youth squad. I really do enjoy managing a youth squad and signing youth, youth players. It's very, very interesting. All right. Oh, we got some emails as well. Uh, squad and manager award received. Hey! Glad to inform you that you're excellent. Have won you Manager of the Month award. Look at that! I've never won that award before. So awesome to see that I'm not doing too poorly as the manager of a top European club. Awesome to see that. View players in the youth academy. We want we want to see how our players are going. Uh, Elliot Mitchell is now 75 to 89, 76 to 90. Okay, so they got pretty good potentials. Uh, these guys up top. Elliot Hill has dropped. So now we only have. Uh, Mason Morris, who's still it got that 90 some 90 plus potential, and Archie Moore, who's at a 90 potential now, uh, and then these guys down here have dropped just a little bit as far as what they can uh, grow up to. But I'm okay with uh, mid to upper 80s because that's going to get us some decent money. And a match against Chelsea, followed by Real Madrid. You know what? I want to check out the Champions League table. Um, International management offer from Paraguay. I, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to accept that. Yes, Sergio, you will probably be playing against Chelsea because I'm more worried about the uh, I'm more worried about the uh, Premier League right now than I am the Champions League because I believe we should be safe to move into the Premier League or to into the second round. Okay, so switch. To, oh nope, not what I wanted to do. So then get Gundogan back there in that holding role and then put Silva there. Uh, instead of Otamendi, we want Van Dyke too, and perfect. This is our number one squad, guys. This is all the guys I want to be playing, and the guys that'll be playing fantastic for us. Uh, like I said, you know, it's a good squad, but you know, again, our wingers they play great, but I'd love to see them grow too. Our midfielders, we have Silva and De Bruyne and Gundogan. Silva's not going to be around for too much longer. He is 30, uh, but he's still a fantastic player for us. And Gundogan, you guys said he can grow. So I hope I hope you're right. I'm trusting you guys. I want him to grow. He's injury prone though, so that kind of sucks. Uh, Walker is he hasn't grown a lot. Neither has company. But these guys, you know, they're solid players. But like I'm saying, guys, you 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 know those uh, teams that you play as all the time in FIFA that have those phenomenal star players across the board everywhere. That's my vision for this city uh, city manager mode. So let's go ahead and uh, oh you know what? Nah, never mind. I wanted to check the tables. Premier League. Let's get to the Champions League. Uh, it takes a while to load. I apologize about that guy. The Emirates FA Cup. Uh, I probably should have gone the other way. Shoot. Um, Champions Cup. There we go. And there we are. We are tied with Real Madrid, but only second on goal differential here. So, ooh. I th And it seems like we've secured our ourselves a spot with, with this as the final match. Uh, coming up against Real Madrid in, in the group stages of the Champions League. So, I, we are on to the second round. I'm not too worried about where we're seated because I think we'll have a very good shot no matter where we go. Let's go ahead and start this match up against Chelsea. Oh, this is a big... Wow, they've not been good lately. They lost to Middlesbrough, drew with the Spurs, and tied Leicester City. Oh, wow. So Chelsea's been in poor form. Let's see if we can take advantage of a poor Chelsea club right now. Oh, but they score Jimenez. Scores early in the 17th minute. We're now half an hour into the match. But Silva strikes back for your city squad. And we have tied it up as we go into the second half. Half an hour remaining in the match. Still a 1-1 tie right now. Matic gets the yellow. Are we going to be able to capitalize here in the last 10 minutes? Is somebody for City going to score and snatch us three points? And nope. We are only going to be able to get one point against Chelsea. We split, we split this match. I'm not too upset about it because they're a very, very good club. Uh, but for us to be able to bounce back like we did, I was kind of hoping we would be able to get that second goal. But a 1-1 draw is fine by me because I'm not too worried about, you know, uh, you know, we're in the top right now. Again, I'd love to beat these uh, upper-level clubs just to prove that we can beat clubs like Chelsea, Tottenham, anyone at the top. Uh, office, press conference, okay. Um, 
You know, we're, I'm gonna praise Real Madrid because they've been playing. They've been playing great. Uh, let's see what what is their uh, roster looking like. Oh, that, my goodness. Like, look at that, guys. This is, this is the kind of roster I'm looking at. 94, 86, 90. 87, 88, 89. 86, 89, 84, 84, 85. That's the kind of roster I'm looking for. Right now, we're a really good European club, but we're not one of the top clubs in the league. So I'm going to praise Real Madrid because they've done a fantastic job with that club over there. Uh, and let's see if we can just get a draw out of this one like I believe we did last time. Uh... I believe we only do. I believe we got out with a draw. We both sent out our number one squads. I might not be able to do that just because I was more worried about um, uh, the Premier League for Nadinho. And then instead of Silva, we want to throw out Toure because he's been playing well. Instead of Company, I'll throw out Stones. And other than that, I'm okay with some of the guys being a little bit more tired than others, just because I want to be. I don't want to get absolutely smashed by uh, Real Madrid. That's not my vision <laughs> for what I want to do. As we approach, uh, we oh, we are in December, guys, so no other really important management offers have been, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the calendar. I keep going to office season. There we go. So yeah, we are now in the middle of December. I completely forgot to check that, uh, but now up against this game against Real Madrid, we're going to have to go ahead and, um, actually, when's the next, it, when, when does it appear that the next, uh, okay, so let's wait until after the Watford game. We'll give it another week, guys, to see if we get any other offers for any clubs, so I don't pull the trigger too early, but just before this Arsenal game, I will probably end up signing for Italy unless a better uh, international squad comes and offers me a contract. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this match against Real Madrid. Very, very exciting. Uh, Champions League game. We, I, I do. I would like to take all three points against Real Madrid here. See if we can beat them because I know they're a fantastic squad. But we're no slouch either. But Marcelo gets an early yellow card in the 19th minute. Uh, but Fernandinho scores for us is in that center defensive mid spot as we approach the second half. Aguero comes on for Jesus. Maybe Aguero can get us that insurance marker that we're going to need with half an hour left. Ayan Nacho comes on for Sané. I don't like Ayan Nacho being on the wing, but with 10 minutes left in the match, are your City squad, are they going to be able to pull it out? And they do, even with a little bit of a weaker squad, Mbappe, you know, playing, and uh, Jesus on the wing. Uh, and we are able to beat Real Madrid 1-0, and we do take the top spot in our Champions League group, which is awesome. Very, very exciting stuff there, guys. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm going to wait until the... Uh, match against tournament prize money. Oh, this is important stuff. This is where I'm getting my money back. 18.5 million increase to our transfer budget. That's going to be important because that could help us sign a guy like Bernardo Silva. Wait, why is it not in the transfer budget? That's what I want to know. Where's that 18.5 million? Oh, right. Let's go ahead and shift this over to. I like 60 40. 20, so we got about 20 million in the transfer budget with uh, about, about 40, 450,000. Uh, wow, look at that, guys. And Stoke City is now in sixth. And where is Chelsea? Chelsea has now fallen to seventh place. Is this going to be another season like last season where they had to avoid relegation and come on in the second half of the year? But I know we're only 14 matches played, but they're not even in the top five. They're not even sixth. Wow. Very, very shocking there, guys. All right, so we got, we got a matchup against Leicester City here. And there was a rescheduled match, so I wonder what that one is. Uh, Man City versus United is now pushed back three days from fe uh, in February, which is not going to affect us for a long time. They always do that for uh, for some reason. I always get an email like months ahead of time, and I always forget about it. But let's go ahead and see who can we throw out against this uh, Leicester Leicester squad. I'll throw Aguero out there, and you know I'll leave Jesus in there. He's been in good form instead of Toure. Uh, I'll put Silva. I'll keep Fernandinho in there. I'll play Gundogan next match. Fine, I'll play Otamendi this time. I'm okay with that. And there we go. Sané Aguero, Jesus, Silva, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, Grimaldo, Van Dijk, Otamendi, Walker, and then Ederson, who has played, I think, in every match we've played in this season. Ederson has been in goal, so he's certainly getting the playing time I told him he'd be getting. And hopefully that's going to help him grow and become a much, much better keeper for us in the future. Because that's where you, you... If you don't have a good keeper, you're really not going to contend. If you have one of the world's best keepers, you are going to contend every match you're in. Alright, so Leicester's actually in a really good form lately. But so are we after a 
coming off a high after beating Real Madrid, but we got to focus on this game against Leicester. You can't focus on, can't rest on your laurels against the Real Madrid. And Al Brighton scores, but Silva, oh my God, I'm not, I didn't even get it out of my mouth. Silva answers right back as we are 30 minutes into the match. Two goals early. It's a 1-1 draw as we head into the second half right now. Gundogan comes on for De Bruyne. Drinkwater comes on, and Silva scores his second of the match in the 61st minute. With we have we have 20 minutes left in the match. City's up two to one with 10 minutes left. Shawcross gets yellow, and it's back and forth. And but City is able to take all three points against Leicester as we get the 2-1 victory, boys. Awesome, very very great to see that. Uh, dang it, United is still ahead of us. Same thing with Liverpool, uh, and of course we got another game coming right up against Watford. I said I would make the decision on the Italian uh, international management uh, decision uh, right before the match, after this match, before the match against Arsenal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've played way more matches than United and Liverpool, yet we still have the same amount of points. So I hope we don't get uh, bit, uh, doesn't come back to bite us in the butt uh, because, uh, uh, oh, my, oh we, we do play Arsenal. Uh, no. Potential Bolivia and China PR. Are you serious? Like, I've got a management offer from Italy. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not accepting an offer from China. No offense. Uh, but I'd much rather. Oh. So Mbappe and then I like having Jesus as a wing player there. He can rotate in on the squad. Uh, Fernandinho is fine there. Let's play. G oh, actually, you know what? Let's play Toure and then play Gundogan here. And then instead of Otamendi, we can play. Uh, shoot. Uh, so instead of Van Dyke, we'll play Stones just because we have a very important match against. Uh, yeah, we have a very, very important match against uh, Arsenal coming up, but I can't overlook these guys too much. Uh, Watford, because, you know, we want to get all three points here, and we're. we're it's not, nothing is a guarantee as far as. Um, points are concerned because, you know, we could easily drop this match against Watford before the Arsenal game. And Arsenal's up there too, so they're a top five club that I would love to beat uh, and take all three points away from. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Starting the match home against Watford. Let's see if we can give the fans in the Eddie had a great showing. Oh, and they got a serious injury early on in the match. They're forced to bring on Dini in the 13th minute. And Arsenal is beating Everton down there. And Grimaldo actually scores for us. And Bature gets a yellow. Not too worried about it, though, unless it becomes a double yellow. Lots of sub substitutions going on as we have half an hour left. And Fern Fernando scores for us. The defensive midfielder, Fernando, actually is able to get a goal for City as we are able to take all three points against Watford. I know I started calling that one a little bit too soon, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Spurs won 2-0 and Liverpool won 1-0, so we didn't really catch up too, too much against those two clubs as they remain atop the English Premier League. Uh, actually, wait a second, never mind. We were able to catch the Spurs and pass them. Uh, yeah, now we're only one point behind Liverpool. Press conference, Toure. I, yeah, I'm glad. Uh, you're playing fantastic, Toure, so uh, let's praise Manchester City because they've been playing spot on since I called them out in the last video for the very poor form. We did not put ourselves too far behind the eight ball, it looks like. I'm really excited for how this team is go is doing. Turkey, no thank you, but you at least help me stop it so I can go ahead and accept the Italian management offer. I'm really excited, guys. We're going to go ahead. Wow. Uh, no, 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 no. So Turkey, Paraguay, Northern Ireland, Ecuador, but Italy. It's got to be Italy, guys. And let's go ahead and accept the offer and become the Italian uh, the Italian national team manager. So we our, ex our expectations, I think, are to reach the semifinal and to just do well, I think. Uh, do you guys know where there's a spot where I can check my objectives for international? Speaking of, 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 of objectives, uh, so the youth development they're not too concerned about. Uh, sign at least two players younger than 20 with potential greater than the average rating of players currently in the same position. Okay. Uh, long term, that's fine. We already got our brand exposure. Reach the final of the Champions Cup. We are in the round of 16 now. Uh, and we have to reach the, the win the FA Cup and win the Premier League. So hopefully we can, uh, and they don't really give a crap about finances, which sounds like Manchester to me. Um, so yeah, basically they want us to do quite well. And I'm, I'm looking forward to manage this Italy squad, guys. I'm very, very excited. We're not on track. Are you, are you kidding me? We're not on track. Uh, investing in our youth development was important. At this moment, it looks like we may not hit our mark. What do they want for youth? 
Uh, grow one Academy player by at least five points. Play them in five matches, either as part of the starting lever or coming in as a sub. Good lord. And then sign at least two players younger than 20-year-olds with potential greater than the average rating in the current position. So we're at risk of losing three players. I'm not too concerned about that, though. Uh, the really only the one I want to give a contract to is Toure, because I can let Zabaleta walk and Caballero walk, or transfer them here later on. He wants one year, and I can give him that for 180000 He better perform. Uh, he's going to be a squad rotation player. That's what I plan on him being. Uh, just because I don't think... Yeah, I'm pissed off that they say we're not on track. Because you want me to con contend, yet you want me to play these youth players? They're giving... Uh, you can't... You just can't do that, guys. You can't just say, we want to be one of the best teams in Europe, but, you know, play all these young players who are inexperienced and don't know how to play the game of soccer yet. Uh, okay, Gundogan I'll leave in there because we want to roll out our best squad against Arsenal. Van Dijk as well. Ederson, Walker, Grimaldo. Perfect. All right, guys, very, very nervous here for what might be the one of the final matches of this video. Oh, my God, let's go ahead and get into this match against Arsene Wenger and Arsenal. Putting out our best squad, they recently drew with Juventus and drew uh, with Stoke City, but beat Everton, so they're not in poor form, but we are in fantastic form, and Aguero scores in the 14th minute as your city club gets a 1-0 advantage over Arsenal early, but Van Dijk does get a yellow, but Martinez also gets a yellow in the 37th minute as we get into the second half here. Mbappe comes on for Sané, Nacho comes on for Sterling. I'll just let you guys know what happens for City. Nacho gets a yellow off the bench in the 64th minute. So Ozil comes off, and Ramsey scores for them, saves them any kind of points. They steal back a point from City, and damn, in the 84th minute, they're able to tie the match, and we get out of here with one point. Very upsetting there. I was really thinking we could take all three. Screw you, Arsenal. I'm really pissed off now because we were not able to get all three points when it looked like we were going to cruise to a victory. We collapsed at the very last second there. Not happy about it whatsoever. Let's see if we can go ahead, though, uh, and bounce back as we get up towards Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, how much do we still have left? We have two matches, one against Liverpool and one against Hull City. Uh, remaining so these are two big matches because Liverpool is right above us and Spurs are right above them So we need to go ahead and get as many points as we can and he accepted his contract Yaya Toure Congratulations, you will be back for one more season my friend uh, As and you're in great form So I could I, I had to give him an offer because he's been in great form uh, and I certainly don't want to get uh, lose that So let's go ahead here and manage the squad uh, instead of Aguero, let's go ahead and throw out Mbappe, and I'll leave Sterling and Sané up there. Uh, instead of Gundogan, I'll play Toure, because he's been in fantastic form. And other than that, I'm going to leave most of the squad the same, because we do have a decent amount of rest in between this match and the one against Liverpool. These should be the final two uh, matches of the video, guys. And then I want to hear your guys' thoughts on who we should go ahead and get in the transfer window that's coming up for the January transfer window. Do we go ahead and c continue our pursuit of Bernard Bernardo Silva, or will he just be, uh, add to what is already a crowded midfield for us? And there we go, guys. Mbappe gets an early yellow in the fifth minute. Interesting. All right, now we're approaching 30 minutes into the match. Nothing has happened so far on the score sheet. And it seems to be a pretty quiet first half, but never mind. Sané scores again. A backbreaker in the 44th minute. Aguero comes on for Sterling as well, out there on the wing. Very interesting that they put Aguero out on the wing, unless they change the formation. With 10 minutes left, let's not blow it, guys. Oh my god, we blew it again. We just blew it again against a team like Hull City. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? We just choked twice in the last five minutes. That one was in the 88th minute. Oh, my God. As I praise the team for having great form, they're choking away points. Come on, guys. You can't be doing that. Like, not at all. You've got to be securing these matches. That's why I'm never happy with a 1-0 lead. Because it could easily disappear and vanish like it has been. I'm upset. I'm I'm going to motivate our city club because I am not happy with how we are playing whatsoever. Again, we choke away points. Barr has got the monthly scouting update. Interesting to see that. Oh, we got a match against Burnley coming right up after. 
Uh, are these play? Oh no, these aren't players that we have signed. No, no, we're gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and reject players so they don't stick around. So he doesn't waste his time scouting these guys who are not gonna be anything ever. You guys need to learn how to play some football, and then maybe I'll look at you. Holy crap! Sign player. Oh my God, sign player. Yeah, those guys looked fantastic. Let's go ahead uh, and reject some of these guys that don't look like they're gonna be a ton. Uh, you know, for the club. And these two guys right here, I'd love to see one more month. Uh, he's been here for two months. He's a goalkeeper. I want to find out a little bit more just about him uh, as far as what he could be. I, he's a goalkeeper, so we know that, but I'd like to know a little bit more. And then this match against Liverpool, everyone's got the same amount of games played so far as we are now in second. Still tied with Manchester United down in fourth and only one point ahead of Arsenal in fifth. Very, very close this season. Wow, uh, and only one win behind the Spurs, so let's go ahead. I got, I almost started the match without changing up the squad. Uh, instead of Toure, I want to play Gundogan and De Bruyne and Silva. Yep, this is the best squad I can throw out there, guys. Let's hope uh, Let's hope that it does well. Oh, wait, Toure uh, for Fernando, uh, Mbappe, and I have Nacho. I'm cool with that. Actually, Jesus, you can go on for, instead of I and Nacho. Just because you can play the wing, I'm okay with that. And there we go, guys. All my subs are set up, too. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's a little bit longer video here, guys, but I've had a lot of fun in this video. I hope you guys have too. And we're going to close it off with a very, very fun match against Liverpool. Hopefully we'll be able to take at least one point. I'm looking for three points because they've not been in the greatest form. Losing to Stoke, losing to West Ham, and uh, finishing uh, their game against Everton with a draw. Let's go, guys. Kick off against Liverpool and Manchester City. I remember watching this match. It was one of the best matches of the season. And Coutinho, Coutinho scores in the 12th minute, giving Liverpool an early goal. But Aguero ties it up for your City boys. 28th minute, and we are now in the second half. Let's see what happens. Fernand, Fernandinho. Oh, my God. And Fernandinho gets seriously hurt. But Sané ties it up as we can save ourselves a point. Are we going to choke away this point again? Are we going to snatch up all three? All right, guys, we were able to get a point against Liverpool. Very, very interesting back and forth, but Fernandinho has been injured. Unfortunately, it seems like a relatively serious injury because it, it gave me the little ambulance symbol. Let's go ahead and see how he's doing. Training injury. Silva sprained his ankle. He's going to be out for three weeks. Oh, my God, guys. And I was the manager of the month twice in this video, so look at me. Transfer market. Ah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, we know that. And he broke his tibia and is going to be out six months. So, guys, screw what I said about that crowded midfield. It is a very wide open midfielders for, midfield for at least a month here. As Silva sprains his ankle and Fernandinho breaks his tibia. We got a lot of spots open now, guys. Let's see who who's going to step up for us. Yeah, wow, we got some pretty, pretty, pretty good youth players right here. Dominic Cook looks very, very good, but Connor Harrison is going to be elite. I, I need your guys' help on what I need to do to get him to be phenomenal. Uh, and then, ooh, you and Lewis is only going to be a 79. I don't really want that on my team or on my youth squad. And, you know, these 83s, they're not bad, but they could become something someday. So there we go, guys. That is the youth squad. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun in this one. Let me know what you think about the transfer window as we are now in third in the table after only picking up one point against Liverpool. Had a great time today, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you guys in the next one.